Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We continue to speak about Bootstrap 5. In the last lesson we finished this block section and today we will make our divider section and approach section. For this block section when you look the page please don't worry about this responsive behavior. In the last lesson we will add our responsive Bootstrap classes to our project. First let's go our finished version we have a divider section and here we have an approach section in our divider section we have a background with this black opacity background and we have a form element input type is email here we used again card components of bootstrap but in this part inside of card component we also add this accordion component let's start with divider section let's go back our code and here is our code and here is our live version i will write here a command divider section and below the command we will open a section tag id will be divider and i will add this section tag our generic class and I will also add here our dark bg class dash bg. Inside of our section tag, there will be a container class. And inside of container class, there will be a row class. And inside of a row class, there will be a column class. This column class will have eight column dot call dash eight. And inside of this eight column class, I will add an offset because I want to make this column in the middle of the page. Offset dash two class here. Click the tab button and here is our general markup. Inside of our column, I will put a form email input elements. First, let's go to documentation and check about the form elements. I go to bootstrap documentation from docs. I am coming here, here form. The important part of this form section is input group. Let's go this input group. As you can see, there are related classes. Input group with MD-3 for the samples. And here, for example, I will use this large one. And for this large text, I will add input group and input group ng. Inside of this div class, I will add a span class. This time this span class has class input group text, but I will put our span class input group btm because I won't use just tick, I will use a button. Let's go back our code. First, I will open form tag form and inside of the form, I will open a div with input dash group and input dash group dash lg class input dash group dash lg inside of this input group div i will put html input element for this reason i am writing input type will be email i will add bootstrap classes here to look better this classes will be the most important one is form control later i will also add here rounded zero border danger text white and finally bg transparent here also i am going to add a placeholder and placeholder will be at join news letter i will close this input element later i will add a span element and inside of this span i will put our button Spam with input group btn and input group lg. Click the tab button. Inside of this span, I will put our button. Again, input, but this time type will be submit. Classes will be btn, btn dash danger, rounded zero, text white, and border danger. Value will be subscribe. I close also this button. Our button is working, but our dark bg background dark gb no it will be dark bg save the file makes our screen bigger and now we finished our divider section let's continue with the approach section i copy this command paste here approach section for approach section i will state also with the general markup i will open a section tag id will be approach and i will add here a generic class inside of this section tag i will add a container 
class. Inside of container class, I will put an h2 element with classes display5 text danger and mb-5. And here at the same hierarchy with this h2 element, I will add a sibling and sibling will be a row class dash row. Inside of this row, I will add to column class dot call asterisk to. Click the tab button. Here is our general markup. I will put inside of this column card component and inside of a card component, I will put a accordion component. Our header will be how we approach. Save the file and here is our live version dot card and this card also will be bg dash light class and also border dash three class click the tab button and here there must be a one space i will put this space accordingly inside of card component i will start with the card image this will be img tag and class will be card dash img dash tab because i want to put my image on the top of the card also, I don't want any rounded corner, so I will add here rounded dash zero class and source attribute will be that slash and from img folder, I will take here design dot jpg. Let's make our screen is bigger. Below our image, I will put a card body class dash card body and inside of body first, I will put a title. This title will be h5 and Classes will be lead dash text danger dash text uppercase and M mb dash four classes. Click the top button. Here is our header, and our header will be let's say design roach. Below the this header, I will put our accordion component. But first, let's go back our documentation and check what is the accordion component. Let's go back our documentation. From here, I will go to components and click accordion. Here, you can see the generic code of for this accordion sample. When you check this sample code of accordion, for example, we have an ID of accordion. It is accordion example and ID for headers and also high ID for this collapsed sections, for example, this collapse section has an ID on collapse one. This ID is addressing with this. Let's go back here. This ID is addressing with this database target attribute collapse two. Here is ID is collapse two. This collapse two is addressing by this database target. Here an accordion flush example. Actually, in our code, we will use accordion foolish example. We don't have to understand everything in sample codes, but in general, we have to understand how it is working, general structure of accordion component. So for this reason, the ID which, and which I mentioned before is important. Let's copy this code and let's go back our code and here below the h5 I will paste this accordion component. Save the file. Let's make smaller our screen. Let's go our live version. And here as you can see we edit first accordion. It is working as we want. Let's go back our code. Let's make our code screen is bigger. And I will copy this card. I will copy this card from here to here. I will copy this card component and I will paste inside of other column. Save the file. And later I will change the ID of our second accordion because I want that this accordion will be different each other. For accordion ID, I am changing this accordion flash example to and here id flush example 1 will be 4 and here i have to change this flush collapse 1 to flush complex 4 because i changed database target attribute for this reason i have to change this collapse I have to match copy it and i will paste here i will do the same for other elements this heading 2 will be 
adding 5 this collapse 2 will be collapse 5 this collapse 2 will be collapse 5 this will be foolish adding 6 and this will be foolish collapse 6 and this will be foolish collapse 6 save the file and let's check for other behaviors we have to change also these area controls copy this one and paste here and here foolish collapse 5 and paste here foolish collapse 4 and paste here we change our id of our accordion i will copy this id i will paste this one actually if we add two it will be enough add two here add two here and add two here save the file let's go back our live version here is our live version click the button click it click and everything is working independently from each other let's go back our second column and here we can also change this this four five and six also i will change this design.jpg to development.jpg save the file let's go back our live version and here is our approach section this is the end of today's lesson in the next lesson we will continue to speak about bootstrap 5